Look, Adam was kicked out of the garden for not obeying the commands of God. If you think you're with God not obeying his commands, you better think again. Samuel says to Saul, you did things that God did not command. You are cut from the congregation. Or, and Samuel says to him, you, you, yeah, you did things God did not command. You went against God's command and you added too. And so when you read Revelation, because you added too, uh, and when you read Revelation, I'll render unto every man his righteousness. You must understand what this is. There are men that take children from the mothers, making as, as, uh, Samuel says to the king of the um, Agons or whatever, he says, you've made, as you have made mothers childless, so too shall your mother be made childless. And then Samuel kills him. Well, that's exactly what people are doing, calling it Christian. The divine act of God to the mother is the first act of God in life, to all life. Everyone comes from their mother. Therefore, the mother has authority over the children. As Wisdom of Ben Sarah says, God has confirmed the authority of the mothers over the sons. Therefore, you must be reborn in order not to be under your mother. Well, that's why they try to make the son equal to the father. It's incestuous. For the son to rise up against the father in any wise to be equal to, he could go on his own, whatever, is to be incestuous. Um... Uh, Corinthians 5 speaks on this. The son didn't have his father's wife. It's as though he did. It's uh, it's how Paul judges um, because the father and the son were having a dispute and they sided with the son against the father. It's the same thing in Genesis 39 or 30, yeah, 39 or 38 where, uh, or 49, 48, where Israel, Jacob blesses his sons. Reuben went up to his couch because he disagreed with his father. He went against his father. And that's what it is. And so when you have people disobeying the commands of God, saying they're with God, it's all sick, twisted shit that's not real. They're not with God. They don't obey the commands. As John said, if a man come to you saying he knows God, but does not obey the commands, that man is a liar and the truth is not in him. Look and see how many times Jesus says, obey those commands. They're not with Christ. They're not believers. They're adulterous idolaters playing you for a game. Uh, Genesis or um, Exodus 32, uh, so that they can make you slaves. Exodus 5, so they can kill the children, cutting them in half. Exodus 1.